Hello and welcome. I stand here before you today to talk about the very important relation between action and intention and action and intention and intention and action. So let's get to it. So yeah, the topic of this video is the important relation between action and intention. There should be a very strong connection between those two. And if the connection isn't that strong, you're pretty much heading one way while looking at another. And uh, your actions are what makes it happen and your intentions are what you want to happen. So if your actions are not true to your intentions, things are not going to turn out as you want them to. So your intentions is only the beginning. Your actions are way more important. The reason for that I made this video is that I realized from my experience that 99% of people have so called good intentions. But I haven't really thought through what they are doing and the consequences of that. We all want to be healthy and happy and feel good. We don't and we want a good environment and so on. We don't want people to starve. We don't want a real life apocalypse on earth. But more often than not, or at least in very many cases, our actions are not true to these good intentions. And it doesn't have to be this way at all. The important question is, why do we act in ways that violates our intentions? One reason is lack of discipline. We want to be healthy, but think unhealthy food is tasty, so we do anyway. Discipline is indeed important, but I do not think this is the main factor when it comes to a lot of important things. The biggest factor and the biggest reason to why we act in ways, ways that are not in line with our intentions is that we are simply unaware of the consequences of our actions. Like, we want this and ask this for that reason, but then we do another thing for another reason and without realizing we have caused the opposite of what we wanted in the first place because we only look at things from one point of view. We have an especially bad habit of not connecting action to intentions when it comes to things we do every day or things that everybody else does. I got a very good example for you how extended awareness or knowledge can change one person's actions without changing the intentions at all. I get though if this example isn't obvious to you since it's, it's likely about something you've seen one to three times a day on your plate every day for 365 days a year for decades. Let's get to it. I have always cared a lot about the environment and uh, my health and I have never wanted animals to die and suffer. And this intentions has not changed at all. But my actions has changed uh, or my entire lifestyle has changed based on these intentions. So what made me change my actions is realizing more and more the truth about meat and dairy and what it means to my health, the animals and maybe most importantly the environment. I will not cover this in detail at all in this video but let me hit you with it real quick. I realized that veganism could be really healthy and uh, was way better for the environment since uh, livestock is uh, responsible for a total of 18 to 51 percent of all greenhouse gas emissions. That's more than all transport combined, which is responsible for 13 percent of all greenhouse gas emissions. And uh, of course, it's much better for the much much better for the animals since. A vegan diet does not rely on the death and suffering of animals. So, to be true to my intentions, I had to cut meat and dairy out of my diet. And this is a decision that I have never regretted, not even on Christmas or other holidays when my family feasts the corpses of animals. I will make a separate video about veganism, so enough about that. So what I have said in this video so far is that your actions are in many cases not true to your intentions. So what do we do about that? The key is knowledge. 
the more you know, the more likely you are to make good decisions. A decision without, without knowledge is a blind decision. I would recommend you to do a lot of research. Almost everything can be found on the web, so there's no excuse for not getting informed anymore. It's also very important to be open-minded and to be honest to yourself. We hate to realize that we have been wrong about something. And uh, it's also very important to allow yourself to see more aspects of things. Instead of I'm hungry, I'm going to eat chicken, it tastes good. Think about the environmental aspects, the ethical aspect, your health aspects. If you only view things from one point of view, you will probably do a lot of things that contradicts each other. Uh, or contradicts the result you want to see. It's really important to be able to see the full picture. As always, my camera battery is about to run out, so I have to speed things up. The thing you should primarily focus on, on to make sure that fits your intentions is the things that you do every day. Because over the days, weeks and months and years and decades, they will have a massive effect. And don't overanalyze everything. Everything isn't worthy of your attention. So focus on what you do repeatedly, like what you eat and wear. What you shouldn't think about is what everybody else does. It takes no justification or critical thinking to do what everybody else does or what is popular. The scary things, thing about normal things is that we have gotten so used to them that we are not likely to realize how fucked up they really are before we really take a step back and evaluate, evaluate things with a critical mind. If you would have said that black people were equal to white 200 years ago in America, people would have think you were just crazy. And uh, we can find so many historical behaviors like that that you view as crazy today but were normal back then. And trust me, you are really naive if you think that there are not a lot of these behaviors today that is normal but still is just crazy. We are really blind to what is normal in our time. Think about that. And just as we and isn't, this is a topic for another video that I will go more into detail about. I think that was the really important thing I had to say in this video. So yeah, remember these three words and you're fine. Intention, action, result, and always make them connect. Your action and intention should always go hand in hand. And yeah, the key is knowledge. Do some research, get informed. Be open-minded and honest to yourself. And uh, see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. And go eat some green shit.